Hello, today's Bible study comes from Galatians chapter 1, verses 18 through 24, and it reads as follows. Then after three years, I went up to Jerusalem to get acquainted with Cephas and stayed with him 15 days. I saw none of the other apostles, only James, the Lord's brother. I assure you before God that what I am writing you is no lie. Then I went to Syria and Cilicia. I was personally unknown to the churches of Judea that are in Christ. They only heard the report. The man who formerly persecuted us is now preaching the faith he once tried to destroy. And they praise God because of me. Now, here's the part where it tells you after three years he went to up to Jerusalem. And Cephas, Peter, when he went to meet him, he said after three years... He went there. All had been a Christian. So he went to see, see Peter. And they were hearing only he who formerly persecuted us now preaches the faith he once tried to destroy. It. Paul didn't learn, as I said, the gospel from any of these men, any man. So for them the people to get to know Paul, it would took a little longer. And all the people were saying was, that dude's been changed. You know, I saw none of the other apostles, he says that. Only James. So Cephas and James, the Lord's brother. James is the Lord's brother. I assure you before God that what I'm, I'm writing is no lie. So this is no lie. And don't forget, he stayed with Cephas for 15 days. Then I went to Syria and Cilicia. He traveled. I was personally unknown to these churches in Judea that are in Christ. He was personally not. They didn't know him. He was new. And that's okay because he's still going to do what he got to do. But, but what they did know of him, they only heard the report, as it says. The man who formerly persecuted us. Hmm. Revelation. Intervention. The man who formerly persecuted us now, preaching, is now preaching the faith he once tried to destroy. Uh-oh. So there had to be a change, a conversion. This intervention, this revelation. And he, you can go back up to it and see where he says, I assure you before God that what I'm, I am writing you is no lie. And then you can back it up even more because he stayed with Peter. You saw that part. And he, he met James. You saw that part. So he tells you it's no lie. But then the people who didn't really know him only heard the report. And what was the report? The man who formerly persecuted us is now preaching the faith he once tried to destroy. Revelation, intervention, conversion. And then he says, and they praise God because of me. That was because of his conversion. So Paul was a down low, anonymous, hidden Christian. For a lot of years. But when they heard of him, they knew who he was and they praised God for the conversion. Amen.